Hi you guys, Lindsay here. We have got a new collection from our friends at New Look. So today I'm gonna do what I do, my first impression video. We are gonna go through the New Look collection one by one um, and see what we think of the fall collection. What is happening? Here we go. Okay, first things first, we have a Mrs. Dress pattern. Cute, it's a little, um, are you getting like 1800s vibes? This whole little bodice. But I think it's really darling. I love it in brocade. That looks awesome, very romantic, you know? Um, cute. Cute alternate versions too. I love this little tie waist thing. That's a really nice detail. Um, so we've got a flutter sleeve. We've got kind of a fuller sleeve here. We've got, looks like a, is that a back yoke type of deal? Lots of great seaming. Side seam pockets. Center back zip. Yeah, this is a really well-designed little pattern. We're not going to get too many pictures, though. But that's okay. Yeah, very Victorian. Um, cute. Very cute. I like that one. Off to a good start. Okay, now we've got this little jumper. Kind of 90s vibes if we're talking decades. Um, yeah, obviously meant to be kind of layered. We've seen that look before. Let's get the pictures first. Yeah, I mean, they did a very kind of literal, obvious, you know, plaid with a turtleneck underneath. We've seen that before. Cool. Here's the other versions. We've got three lengths, it looks like. Oh, some patch pocket detailing. Um, and pretty standard back. And this one has a vent, at least, so you can walk. I don't know. It's kind of meh. I'm a little uninspired by it. But I'm sure that you could do some really great things with corduroy or suede or denim, you know, and I bet it's really quick to sew up to. Okay, Mrs. Dress and Wrap. Let's see what this guy is all about. Very boho. Um, it looks like a princess seam dress with some additional darting. That's a really great little detail. With or without sleeves, this might be a pocket, I think. And then you've got these little wraps here. Um, Simplicity does like a solid, like they do two illustrations, even though it's the same pattern. One's a solid and one's a print. Um, so this isn't like two different versions, I don't think. Um, yeah, so pockets here, a little side slit, a little, it's kind of like a poncho, I guess. We've got our um, back darts, so happy to see that, as you guys know. Um, I think that this would be a really, really great little shift dress. Um, if you got the fit right, um, this could be a sloper that you could use and modify a gajillion different ways. Yeah, it looks really good on her. And it's not, I think that looks really sharp personally. This might be like a ponty knit. That's kind of a cool idea. I'm not so sure about the styling here with like the hat and everything. It's a little much, but, um, and this little, Caftan, I don't know. That seems like a lot, too. It's just very overwhelming. Not really my style, but if you like that kind of, you know, cover-up, I don't know. I guess it's cute. I don't know. There's nothing really special about it. It's just rectangles, you know? So, 
All right, that's that. Um, here's a little dress. I love flowy long sleeve dresses in the fall. Um, it's one of my favorite things. I think because here in Charleston, you know, we can wear those dresses probably like six months out of the year, maybe more, maybe eight. But this one has a really cool ampere waist seaming detail with gathers to create volume for the bust. Um, it's got a wide neckband, raglan sleeves, um, a little cuff, center front seam. You can't really see that on this one. I guess you can. It's right there. Um, and then we have options. So this is the solid version. This is the print version. This must be shorter. And this has a shorter sleeve. Oh, and I missed the little button detail. This is a really sweet dress. It's even got some um, shaping in the back waist, which is nice. Yeah, I think that these on pier waist, whenever it's like uh, shaped like this, is really flattering in the tummy area. Um, if you've got like an apple shape or a pear shape or even like a boy shape, I think that this line here creates some really flattering happenings on in the skirt. Oh, I wish they showed her like more like dead on so you could see what I'm talking about, but not so lucky. I like this one. I like this one a lot. All right, tunics. Let's see about this guy. So yeah, your basic V-neck tunic, but it does have that higher waistline. So create like a lot more volume all through your whole midriff area. This one is dolman sleeves. So it's kind of a, it's like a kimono. I'm getting kimono. Very festival, very comfortable, you know, for Thanksgiving, whenever you need to leave a lot of extra room in this area for all the food you're going to eat, at least those of us in the States. Yeah, this is a cute little tunic. I think that you could um, definitely style it and make it um, work for you. A little deep, though. Getting a little low cut there. Um, I don't know. Okay, so I don't I've never seen a version that has this sleeve. I don't really know what the difference would be between this sleeve and this sleeve. I don't know which one she did. I'm guessing it's this one since the fabric matches. I don't know what that would look like. They don't ever give us enough pictures. That's my biggest complaint about simplicity, but I don't know what that would do. I guess it would just make it tighter on the arm. This one doesn't have a sleeve at all. This has, maybe we should be reading some, or, oh, and simply it doesn't do descriptions either. Arg. Um, let's see. Your choice of sleeve variations, V-neck ties above the waist, comfortable fully top will be your go-to for lounging casual occasions. Hmm. So they don't give us much information. You kind of just have to go for it. Could be cute. Could be really cute. A leggings, skinny jean moment for sure. All right. Oh, Lord. Still um, photographing velvet, <laughs> crushed velvet. <laughs> um, nothing will look as bad as that Mimi G one, though. If y'all saw that video a few months ago. Okay, so this is a cowl neck top and dress. And we have a flutter sleeve and a long sleeve. 
And these are the same version. They're both A. Okay. Let's see here. So we've got, yeah, pretty standard stuff here. This one does have the side ruching. So between this and this, I do think that would be very flattering. Um, the dress has no seaming, but it's a knit. So, you know, it could be shaped through here and that would help. Um, B must be tunic length. Yeah, that's what the chick's wearing. This is B, the longer length. I think that could be cute. I, again, I'm not convinced of the velvet anything. Um, but I think in the right kind of knit, um, I do think that the tops could be really cute. And if you've got a slim figure or at least like not pear shaped, I think that these could be really good. You could make this work for a pear shape by grading out, but I mean, it is knit. So it gets a little clingy, but I do love a cowl neck. It gives, it does draw the eye up and away from any of these problem areas you have. So, I mean, it could be cute. It just depends on, I guess, what you're comfortable in and kind of what your style is. But this one could be really great in a myriad of fabrics, even Everything from like jersey all the way up to like some sweater knits, like some lightweight sweater knits, hachi knit, you know, you could really make this one into a lot of different um, fabrics, which would be good because, you know, variety. Okay, now we've got, ooh, a cute little skirt, I think. I love a skirt with some pizzazz. This one has like a little ruffle detail. You guys know I love ruffles. So let's see, it looks to be your basic, you know, wide waistband skirt, sits at the natural waist. Um, we've got, you know, paneled, six panel skirt. It looks like your, your options are these, um, like, I guess, sort of patch pocket type. Um, then you've got welt pockets. And then you've got no pockets, but this little, it's not a ruffle. It's a, I can't remember what it's called. Oh, shoot. It's on the tip of my, tip of my tongue. Um, but yeah, see, they're suggesting all kinds of like heavier weight fabrics. So denim, micro suede, twill, wool. Um, I, I imagine uh, corduroy, you know, your, your typical fall fabrics. And so, yeah, the six panel skirts are really nice, guys. I do like the way they fit. I do love how wide this waistband is. This waistband also looks curved, you know, not straight. So one less alteration that I'd have to make to the pattern pieces. Um, you've got a lot of different lengths. Um, this would be good in like a lighter weight denim, um, you know, leather. I can see this in a lot of different fabrics and being really cute. I do love this detail, although it's nothing like spectacular. It's literally just top stitched on. Um, you know, you don't really need a pattern to tell you to do that. But it's nice that they showed that. Um, it doesn't say what that darn thing is called. Y'all leave it in the comments if y'all know what that's called. It's literally on the tip of my tongue. But it's kind of like a ruffle in that you use a basting stitch down the middle of this seam and then you gather it all up to make that little frilly frill. But that's a good basic skirt pattern, I think. You could do a lot with that. All right, now we've got more, oh, a circle skirt. And they've gone kind of fancy with the um the one that they're highlighting it looks like a couple layers of chiffon or something but you don't have to do it that way you could I mean circle skirts you could do with any fabric honestly I've never met a fabric that doesn't do well in a circle skirt it just depends on how close like these lighter drapier fabrics are going to be really close to the body and then like more um Firm, stable fabrics are going to float away from the body. That's really the only difference. Now, again, the waistband looks to be curved. It's really hard to tell. Um, 
just looking at the illustrations. Circle skirts don't have pockets. They're usually just one seam. Um, I'm not seeing any seams, so they must have put theirs on the side, I guess. Yeah, here's one. And this is interesting. Is this a belt or is this the waistband? Did they do the waistband in the underlining of the fabric? I guess so. That's pretty. Probably pretty finicky. I don't know that I would feel very confident in doing that. I would rather do a waistband in like a more stable fabric and then do a belt over personally. But that's just me. The best part about circle skirts are the hems. They are miles and miles long, very swooshy, very flowy. Um, ch -ch -ch -ch. Optional overskirt, graceful, feminine, gorgeous. Yep, that's really it, kind of basic. There are a lot of circle skirt patterns already out there though. There's even some free ones. I wanna say, oh, one of the Australian indie patterns has free ones. You can just search free circle skirt. They'll either teach you how to make it, how to design your own pattern pieces, or there are some patterns that are already written. Golly, I wish I could remember. Okay, we've got a, whoop, a easy knit sportswear. You guys, I love these separate patterns that come with so many different options. Um, this isn't totally that. I like the ones that come with like a dress, a top, pants and a skirt and a jacket you know you get like a whole wardrobe in one pattern this isn't really what I thought I guess but either way you've got this like robe looking thing and then some pull-on elasticized waist pants um, is what we're working with here so the little robe thing comes in two lengths looks like hip length and then knee length maybe longer and then your kind of basic pull-on pants. This looks like fancy pajamas. <laughs> if you did this in Ponty and then this, like like they've done in a rib knit or any kind of knit, um, any more medium to heavy weight knit so that it would be more stable. Yeah, that's like pajamas for sure. It does lay nice here and this is kind of high on her, which is nice for a wrap. It's just not my style. I don't wear stuff like this. But it does look really good on her. Very sharp. I like the color combo. Um, wrap dress, tunic, and pants. Yep. Perfect together or as separate pieces. Okay. Now we've got a lined jacket. I love little crop jackets in the fall and winter. Again, because I don't need a super heavyweight jacket here for, except for like maybe a month. Um, I will make up a bunch of jackets like this, um, for the fall and winter. I've got two planned already, um, for this year. So that's exciting. Okay. So this one is interesting. So we've got our basic princess seam, which is nice. Um, we've got a little collar, we've got a pocket, but this sleeve is a little bit specific it looks like you don't have to do the sleeve. It looks like B has that, but A has your regular set-in sleeve. So I, it just depends on what you like. I don't typically love a sleeve like this. It's just a little 80s to me, a little dated, um, especially in this kind of fabric with the covered buttons. Like I'm kind of getting a little bit of an 80s vibe, but um, maybe that's your thing. <laughs> so if you like that, by all means. Um, but yeah, the seam details are nice. You know, you have the back princess seams too, which is good. Um, the ruffly sleeved hem, we've seen that a thousand times now. Um, nice pocket detail. It's just a single breasted three button, nothing super, super special, but, um, it could be depending on your fabric, which I guess is what they've kind of counted on here. This looks like some kind of like silk maybe. Yeah, I don't know but it's got a little shine to it, a little holiday flair. I mean, it looks really cute with these Ponty leggings. Um, 
So I, I do think these jackets are very versatile and it's nice to have that in your pattern stash. All right, now we've got pants, top, and a little bag. That's fun. Okay, so our top is kind of just your kind of basic bishop type of top. Look at that dart, way too high. It needs to be like way down here and shorter, but okay, either way. So, you know, you've got the gathered sleeve hem, kind of fuller sleeve, ties at the top, um, probably just a facing there. And then you've got these pants with the split hem. Those are nice, very on trend. Um, try to think of them not in sequiny, sparkly fabric. I've seen them in everything from just like your lightweight polyester um, all the way up to like more structured fabrics, not super structured like, like heavyweight denim or corduroy or anything like that but I have seen them in a bunch of different weights of fabric. Um, very trendy. I don't not like this. It's just very specific, I guess. You can only really wear that a few places, but this can be very wearable depending on the fabric that you choose. And then you've got this interesting little bag. It looks just like a barrel cosmetics bag um, with a little loop handle. Or is that like a bracelet handle? That's kind of cute. Yeah, it looks like this is a purchased like wristlet ring thing. Side pockets on the pants. It looks like... Okay, so the back of the top has no seams. The... <laughs> Everything looks the same. It's hard for me to tell what's happening here. I think the pants, well, obviously, I mean, you can sew up the side seam all the way if you want. I can't tell if that's what they're trying to say with this. Mm -mm. I think these are two fronts. I don't know. They kind of, It's all very similar looking front to back, so it's hard to tell what's going on. Let's look at her pictures. Yeah, you will be able to see all of your insides, so keep that in mind. Here she is again. It is a cute little holiday outfit. I will give them that. Um, but it doesn't necessarily have to be. These darts though, man, that's bad. They need to be like, the dart point needs to be like here. But either way, you get what they're going for. Okay, now we've got a coat with a hood. For all of you that need coats. <laughs> Um, this is one of your like minimalist kind of coats, which I do like. I do like it wears more like a cardigan than a coat. So it looks like we've got a really like, maybe this is even, yeah, ankle length, shin length. These are probably knee length and this is probably hip length. I'm guessing it's just the same coat, three lengths. This one has a different kind of pocket though, because they couldn't fit the patch pockets on when it's that short. Raglan sleeves. Um, yep, pretty basic, hardly any seams. You could sew this up in a couple of hours easily. It even looks like they used some kind of like herringbone. Maybe it is a coating. I thought at first it might be a sweater knit, but maybe it is a coating. But here she is with the hood on. Very cloakish, you know, like a cloak, more of a cloak than a jacket. But yeah, real basic, real basic. It only even has, what, one, two, three, three pattern pieces, maybe uh, four with the hood, maybe. I can't tell how the hood is attached. It might be all one. This makes me think it's all one. But anyways, very few pattern pieces. So, you know, if you get it cut out quickly. Um double faced coat with a hood can be made in multiple lengths and includes pocket variations intended for double faced or reversible fabrics only so yeah keep that in mind but you could also do with like sweatshirt fleece 
Um, I think it would still look fine if you did like a French terry because the insides of those fabrics still look presentable if you see them on the outside, you know. But they do have some really cool wools. When we were in New York City, we saw a whole bunch at Mood where it was like burgundy on one side and like orange on the other, um, double-faced fabrics. So that could be something really cool where it would be like a bold contrast for the inside of the hood and this lapel. Okay, now we have a little coat or cape. I can't believe the capes are still doing their thing. I have one that I cut out like three years ago. I never sewed it. Maybe I should do that. Okay, let's check out this one. So we've got a little, I guess, Mandarin collar. Oh, we've even got these little shoulder epaulets. We've got options for sleeve tabs. And then these are the same. I mean, it is really cute. I just, like, how do you drive? You know, like, where do your arms go if you need to, like, give someone a hug or something? <laughs> like, you have to keep your arms by your side. That seems so unwearable to me. Um, I do like the that it's double-breasted, that it crosses over. Um, you know, it's got the princess seam detailing. Same in the back with this button tab. I mean, there are a lot of really great details, especially to the jackets. Um, look at how it's a dolman, though. That's interesting. So you can see here, this is all one pattern piece. Your sleeve and your side bodice are all one. So that's kind of neat. I see the a jacket and a cape are so different. Like, just giving us pictures of the cape is really not doing this pattern very much justice. But it is cute if you were going to go somewhere where you didn't need to raise your arms a lot. Uh, I'm trying to think. Like, oh gosh. Like you're just going to go walk around somewhere or something. <laughs> uh, this would be a cute thing to wear if you didn't need to raise your arms more than your elbows. You know what I mean? So keep that in mind. But I want to see the jacket. I do. I wish I could see the jacket with that interesting um, sleeve. This just isn't enough for me to like fully understand how that would look. Oh. Okay. Now we've got unisex tops. So his and her which is kind of fun for the holidays. You know, if you're going to make your son, husband, boyfriend, brother, father, whatever, um, something, might as well make yourself one too. Um, it looks like we've got a pullover, half placket, hooded or not, hooded or not, pockets. Hers, I thought, had some little doodad right there. Yeah, there's definitely an elastic kind of cording in there. That's kind of cool. I like this one. I only make stuff for myself, so I wouldn't use it for a man. But I do like, I don't know, for some reason this is just looks comfortable. Yeah. I think it's cute. There's a lot of fun options in there. I mean, even this one, this is um, very kind of preppy. I'm getting like a Vineyard Vines kind of vibe. You know how you could do, I bet they have some really cute um, inspiration on their, on a website or from a company like Vineyard Vines or, gosh, I'm trying to think of um, some other like really, really preppy stores. That's what I'm getting from this. Very um, Nantucket. You know what I'm saying? Cute. Okay, here are our other pictures of our guy. And I think this is that anti-pill fleece that they sell at Joann's for like $3 a yard. So you could make it real cheap. This is like some kind of sweater knit. Maybe like some kind of knitted Sherpa or something. I don't know. But um, 
but it's cute. It does look a little, it does look high end to me. Like I feel like that looks expensive. And then here they are walking around together in the woods or something, holding hands and they're matching tops. So cute. Well, let's see what they suggest for, um, great for plaid or solid fleece fabrics. Let's see what the double faced fleece, fleece, minky. Ooh, can you imagine a minky sweatshirt fleece? Okay. All right, so now here are the kids and the teens, and is this a woman's? It says Mrs., so let's take a look at that. Wow. Okay, well, pretty basic. Pretty basic. We've got a, I'm assuming this is all knit, uh, maybe not, v-neck top, elasticized skirt, uh, I think B has some flair to it and A is straight. Oh, and then you've got a shorter version over here. And then you've also got pants. So here she is. Yeah, that's definitely knit. Yeah, rural basics. And that's okay. Everybody needs a good set of basics in their pattern stash because you can modify it and do a bunch of different stuff to it and make it look very different. It's kind of like a sloper in a way. Um, looking at this t-shirt, I think that that would be a very great basic tee. Although this facing, that's odd. That makes me feel like it's not, no, it is knit. Why wouldn't they do a band? I wouldn't face that. I would do a band. So maybe not so much on this one. Okay, now we've got this dress, I'm assuming it's knit again. Mrs. Dresses with neckline and sleeve variations. Let's see the fabrics real quick. Cotton, cotton, oh no. All um, wovens, okay. So let's go here and here. So it's just got some neckline variations. It's got princess seam. No waist seam. I do like dresses like that. Very flattering, again, if you're pear-shaped. And then the backs have the same princess seam, center, back, zip, long sleeve, short sleeve, or I'm sure you could do it sleeveless too. That's an easy enough modification. So yeah, just a bunch of different neckline variations, which I mean, I mean, it's easy to do your own necklines. So, I don't know, if New Look went on sale a bunch, it might be nice to have it already done for you. But, again, a really great basic that you could do a bunch of different things to. And make it out of a bunch of different fabrics, too, which always makes it look different. Here's another version. Again, it's like once you get it to fit right, it's going to look great in a bunch of different ways and a bunch of different fabrics. Um... Yeah, so this is just bust starts. You've got a high neck. You've got a bit of a scoop. Um, and then this is kind of squared off. And then they have these little side vents, I guess. And then our back is just plain. So basic, basic. But again, basics are good. I have nothing against basics. If you don't, if you're newer to sewing, to sewing or you haven't ever really kind of explored basics, I would try some of these for sure. Here's another dress. Sew up in just one hour. Love that. So it is your standard shift. I will say though, well, at least based on the illustrations, it does have some shaping here, which is nice. I do like that. And then just depending on what length you want and sleeves or not, you could style these a gajillion different ways. You can make them out of a bunch of different fabrics. Um, you know, there is no back darts, but you could add those. Something like this is super easy. It has 
two or three pattern pieces, depending on whether or not you sew the sleeves. Oh, and maybe a facing. Um, they are suggesting here everything from gauze, cotton, silk, crepe, uh, rayon blends, all kinds of stuff. You could, I mean, anything in the woven section probably you could make. I mean, even denim and corduroy and leather and, you know, it's just your basic shift. So that could be another good option for you. And then this takes us to their, I guess, summer or late fall collection. So that's it for our new look patterns. What did you guys think? I think it's a cute little collection for fall. There's some that definitely stand out to me. Um, I love this is, for the holiday look. This is my my pick for the holiday look, more so than the um, circle skirt or the pants with the slit. Um, I do really like this long sleeve dress. Um, and this skirt is really nice. So I think there's a lot of really great stuff in here. Let me know if you guys are going to be purchasing any of these patterns. Um, which ones was your favorite? Remember to kind of point out something about the pattern rather than just the pattern number, because I don't have the pattern numbers memorized. And when I'm reading the comments, I like to visualize which one you're talking about without having to look it up. It's much quicker, but yeah, let me know what you think. And until next time, I will see you guys very soon. Bye.